Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines and I'm here at the ABT Humminbird Brim Grand Final at the Meetung Pub at Gippsland Lakes in Victoria. And this weekend somebody's going to win a Yamaha SHO outboard motor. We've talked to a few of the favourites, a few of the locals, to see their thoughts on who they think is going to win. Alright, uh, Warren Carter, 2013 Brim Angler of the Year and this is the ultimate event of the year. How do you think you're going to go in the Grand Final? Uh, look, I'm just happy to, to be here, uh, to fish with the best 40 anglers from around Australia. Uh, how are we going to go? Let's wait and see. Um, look, I'm a long way from home. Um, I've probably caught about five or six black broom in my life now. And uh, this waterway, um, yeah, it's massive. I'm, I'm not used to lake systems, but um, I did find a couple of fish today, but uh, a plan has started to form. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. We, f we had a uh, Vic Brim series here three weeks ago and it fished pretty tough. Second day there was only three limits. Two of those came from the Mitchell. Um, but I've whispers today is the Mitchell's not on. So um, it'll be interesting. I think it'll be one of the guys that's fished here before. Um, you know, and, but there's always a chance someone will come across a, a patch of big fish and, um, you know, Victorian events and Gippsland events, it's normally around the 10 kilo mark to win it, but I don't know, I think if guys get limits, they'll be pretty happy. Chris, uh, the last time we had a grand final here at Gippsland Lakes, who was the winner? It was Chris Wright. Um, what do you think your chances are coming into this event? Uh, one in 40. <laughs> <laughs> um, you came down here for the Vic Brim event a couple of months ago, or a couple of weeks ago actually, three or four weeks ago. How did you go in that event? Uh, we ended up seventh, Ian Miller and myself. We only caught four fish for the weekend, though it was really tough, and um, I don't think this weekend's going to be anything different. Oh, look, Steve, I found it pretty tough today overall. I think quite a few of the competitors did. I do know the system quite well. I fished here a number of times. Um, not, not overly confident, I will say, but tomorrow's another day. The weather will change as well, so it could really suit you know, my style of fishing again. So I'm just going to go out there and have a crack and do my usual sort of milk run of spots and do a bit of running around and hopefully pull a nice bag together. Well, after today, it's not a likely event. Um, I've got one fish today, so um, look, we'll see what happens. But no, I'm not... I'm not I don't know what the word is, but look, I'm not I'm not confident, but I, I know what the place is like. Like, I've seen a turnaround here from four fish on a flat, the next day there's 400, so you really don't know what's going to happen here. So I'm not, I'm not putting that out of the equation. Damien Domagala, not even a broken boat could stop you last time you were in this venue, mate. Do you think you can repeat in the biggest ABT event of the year? No, oh, not really. It's not... Uh... It's not going as good as it was then, but um, hopefully, hopefully, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, uh, what's your plan? Are you going to be uh, hitting up a river somewhere or fishing some flats? I'm going to do a bit of everything tomorrow. Yeah, after today, it uh, was pretty tough today, so I uh, still haven't made the mind up where I'm going, but um, yeah, I might, uh, there's no, no, no price for second best here, so we'll go for break, I think. Semi to extremely dangerous, bordering on extreme. Semi. Always semi. Oh, he's fully dangerous. <laughs> he's completely dangerous. <laughs> I think he's going to be really dangerous. 